Hello, I'm John Walsh, host and executive producer of TV's America's Most Wanted. And I'm also very proud to say that I'm an honorary U.S. Marshal. The fascinating job of a U.S. Marshal has been the subject of many Hollywood films and television shows throughout the years. The stories they've told and the pictures they've painted truly do reflect the real life fortitude and integrity of the brave men and women who wear the star. But there's a lot more to the U.S. Marshals than what we've seen on the silver screen. This is a behind the scenes look at the real U.S. Marshals. Federal Marshals have served our country since 1789, many times in unseen but critical ways. Today, the U.S. Marshals Service is the enforcement arm of the federal courts and is involved in virtually every federal law enforcement initiative. U.S. Marshals are presidentially appointed, one for each of the 94 federal judicial districts. Approximately 4,000 deputy U.S. Marshals and criminal investigators form the backbone of the agency. Our primary charge of protecting the federal judiciary is followed closely by a multitude of high priority missions, like capturing violent fugitives and non-compliant sex offenders, selling forfeited assets acquired by criminals through illegal activities, housing and transporting federal prisoners, and operating the witness security program. Since day one, the U.S. Marshals have upheld the responsibility of protecting the federal judicial process. More than 400 courts operate peacefully day in and day out under the Marshals' vigilant watch. Deputy Marshals and their court security officers are present during proceedings and provide protection for federal judges, jurors, court officials, prisoners, and the visiting public. In a typical year, the marshals assess, mitigate, and deter more than 1,300 threats and inappropriate communications against the judiciary. U.S. Marshals apprehend more federal fugitives than any other law enforcement agency. Our deputies arrest more than 330 fugitives a day totaling an average of 123,000 fugitives caught in a year. A major factor for this is the Marshal's unique ability to combine the efforts of federal, state, and local law enforcement to create task forces specially designed to track down these wanted criminals. In conjunction with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, which I helped found in 1984, the U.S. Marshals also play a very key role in the investigation and apprehension of dangerous and non-compliant sex offenders. One of the best ways to combat major criminal activities is to hit them where it hurts. The U.S. Marshals Asset Forfeiture Program strips criminals of their ill-gotten gains. These assets are managed until their owners are proven guilty. Then upon court order, forfeited assets are sold to compensate victims and supplement funding for law enforcement initiatives and community programs. In a typical year, $1.5 billion gets redistributed back to victims of crime and their families. From the time of court-ordered custody to either their acquittal or conviction, every federal prisoner is the responsibility of the U.S. Marshals. The service is responsible for the confinement, care, and transportation of these prisoners to and from court. In a typical year, the Marshals receive and house more than 232,000 federal prisoners in more than 1,800 state and local prisons across the country. The U.S. Marshals Service has the unique authority and ability to grant individuals and entire families new identities and the foundations for new lives. WITSEC provides for the safety and health of witnesses whose lives are endangered as a result of testifying against dangerous criminals and their enterprises. 
Since the program began in 1971, more than 18,000 witnesses and family members have participated. During this time, not a single participant has been harmed while following the program's guidelines, a true testament to the marshal's competence and commitment to protecting the judicial process. While you might not find first class or exit row seating, JPATS is the only government-operated, regularly scheduled passenger airline in the nation. The U.S. Marshals Justice Prisoner and Alien Transportation System moves prisoners between judicial districts and correctional facilities. As one of the largest transporters of prisoners in the world, JPATS handles almost 600 requests a day. Through a networked fleet of aircraft, buses, and vans, JPATS moves an average of 120,000 prisoners each year. When a national emergency strikes, the marshals turn to their special operations group. Overseen by the Tactical Operations Division, SOG is a specially trained, highly disciplined tactical unit designed to overcome even the worst case scenario. SOG is only a part of this diverse division which includes the Marshall's Communication Center, Canine Program, Mobile Command Centers, and the Office of Strategic Technology. Together, they advance the overall capabilities of the agency. In 1789, George Washington first appointed Marshalls with the directive to handle all lawful precepts. That term holds true today as the U.S. Marshal Service continues evolving and adding to its extraordinary array of missions. The proud men and women who wear this star continue to write the history of the agency and ultimately help shape and protect our great nation, carrying on in the legacy of justice, integrity, and service. We are the United States Marshal Service. <laughs>